Hello everyone. Welcome to Vajran Talks. Well, I would like to first thank for the 900 members who already subscribed to my channel and looking forward for the 1000 member subscribe milestone. For this video, I am go back to my previous video. A few comments that are being placed, those are from Siraj and as well as Monica. They requested or they were unable to get how we are going to pass the values into the form. Like we can get the values out of the form as well as we can send the values into the form. Here, how to pass the value as an input. It's very easy to add inputs to a form. Now let's see a small form where it takes two inputs and this is one place where we have first name and second name which is combined. If we see the preview, this is how it looks like and let's go with the properties. So this have a variable called first name or full name. If you see here txt full name and as well as here in the first name we have txt first name field key and here we will have txt second name. Now how are we passing the values into the form? To do that there are two methods. One Okay, let's press some save button and let's close this. To do that, there are two methods. One is using form field collections. The second one using form fields input data, which can be a JSON string. Well, right now I'm using only collection so that I can show you how exactly it's being done. You see here, the first name is the key name and second name and so for all the keys i am passing the input parameters as row 0 of 1 row 1 of 1 and in total i am adding some data and the data can be these values these are the inputs let me show you the path first i am reading the excel and i am looping through all the rows and for each row i am showing the data in the form and I am taking the JSON using BCL as JSON, which will be given out as a JSON object. And in that JSON object, we will have a key value pair. If you see here, there is key and a value. This is a key and a value. And finally, this is a key and value. And also we can have whether a button is clicked or not. If the button submit is true, it is directly saying that user have clicked the submit button, not the cancel button. And finally, here. If some user clicks on submit button, I am going to write that particular value which is sent out in the JSON into this particular Excel sheet. Let's say a scenario where there is an Excel sheet and users continuously need to verify particular fields. Now, if they feel that the complete details are okay, then they can press continue or else if they want to edit it yes they can do that and they can submit it so that the new data is being saved let's run this and let me show you the data run so here we have one and a so i have kept i have disabled both of these so that i can have only one which is editable now here we have this a1 which can be saved Okay, I want to save this. Okay, this is updated. Now I just want, don't want to have this like this. So S2 full name. I just want to make an update. So instead of having the existing value. So I saved it and if you can see the value is written. If I just don't want to add these values here, I can click on cancel because I have written code only for save. I can click on cancel and nothing will be saved and I can click on cancel here and as well as save. Now if you see we have data updated and it is saved as well so this is how we can add input to the forms code will be placed in my github repository and the link will be shared in the video description keep rocking keep learning keep subscribing all the best have fun bye bye